Now we're going to compute for the length of the confidence interval. This is the continuation of the previous lesson. So for the length, um, as a review, this is the lower limit. This is the confidence interval, the lower limit to upper limit, or you could simply write this as L, L, comma, U, L inside the parenthesis, or the sample mean is between the lower limit and the upper limit. Lower limit is equal to sample mean minus the margin of error, and the upper limit is equal to the sample mean plus the margin of error for letter E. Well, the margin of error, the formula is the Z confidence coefficient, the Z. This is the population standard deviation over the sample size. Again, this is the formula for the sample for the confidence interval for the margin of error rather this is the confidence coefficient times the population standard deviation over the sample size the length of the confidence interval you could use two formulas first one is ul minus the lower limit the upper limit minus the lower limit or simply l is equals to two times e which is the margin of error so we're going to have the first problem. The first problem is the population of Sulu hornbill, one of the endangered bird species in the Philippines, has a standard deviation of 40. Compute for the length of the confidence interval for a 90% confidence level, having a sample size of 150 and a sample mean of 65. So the first thing we're going to do is understand the problem and after that we're going to list all the given data. So the first given is um, 40 which is the standard deviation. So the standard deviation is equal to 40. So the standard deviation is 40. Next is the length of the confidence interval that we're looking for, for a 90% confidence level. So the 90% is the confidence level. So if the confidence level, confidence level is 90%, 90%. So based on our table, there is a table that we need in order for us to identify the confidence and coefficient. So this is the, the table. If the confidence level is 90 90%, so the co confidence coefficient is 1.645. So we need this table, so you can screenshot if you like. So the Z is 1.645. Next is the next given, which is the sample size of 150. Sample size, so n is equals to 150, I'm sorry for the dirt. And for the sample mean, which is 65. Next to it is we're going to solve now for E. E is equal to Z alpha. So this is the formula. So E is equal to Z which is equal to 1.645 times standard deviation over the square root of the sample size. The sample size is 150. So just multiply, we could use calculator. So 100, 1.645 times 40 over square root of 150 is equal to 5.372. We'll have three decimal places. Three. Seven, three. So it's 5.373. So next is we're going to get now for the upper limit. Upper limit is equal to um, x, bar, x bar plus e. x bar is 65 plus 
e which is 5.373 which is equal to 65 I sorry so what happened 70.373 the lower limit is equal to x bar plus e which is e sorry minus what happened 65 minus 5.373 which is equal to 59.627 am i right 65 minus 5.373 so we are right next we're going to get now for the length of the confidence interval which is equal to ul minus ll so ul is 70.373 minus 59 70.373 minus 59.627 0.627 which is equal to 10.746 so that's the confidence the length of the confidence interval we could use the other formula l is equal to 2e which is equal to 2 times 5.373 which is still equal to so 2 times 5.373 which is equal to 10.746 so let's proceed with the second example Jennifer wanted to know the average price of shoes that her customer purchased she purchased she sampled 160 pair of shoes so sampled 160 percent, 160 per pair of shoes. That's that's for n. The number sold and found out that the mean average price is 800. So mean, so 800 with the standard deviation of 75. Standard deviation 75, and construct a 90. 5% confidence interval for the mean price of all shoes that were sold. Compute the length of the confidence interval. So we need to find first the confidence interval. And since it is 95%, so because it's 95%, it's 1.96. So 1.96 for the Z. 1.96, excuse me. So because it's 1.96, so we could solve for E now. E is Z square root of N. Z is 1.96. The standard deviation is 75 square root of 160. Type this in the calculator. 1.96, 75 over square root of 160 is equal to 11.62 next the upper limit is equal to x bar plus e 800 is the mean plus 11.62 is equal to 811.62 for the lower limit is x bar minus e so x bar is 800 minus 11.62 that's equal to 38.789 are we right so 800 minus 11.62 788 point 38 next so therefore the confidence interval is 788.38 811.62 x bar is between 788.38 and 811.62 so the the limit is equal to the upper limit 
minus the lower limit which is equal to 811.62 minus 788.38 which is equal to 811.62 minus 23.24 well, let's use the second formula you may not do this this is the answer the length but let's just check it using the second formula 11.62 2 times 11.62 that's 23.24 so we have the same answer and that's how we're going to compute for the length of the confidence interval and to solve problems involving confidence interval.